What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to control selected automation on Logic Pro with one single MIDI knob or slider. Now I have a couple controllers here in the studio, but if you're anything like me, I usually use my big keyboard, my Lisa's Q88 semi-weighted keyboard. Number one, because it has a full range of 88 keys, and it's a keyboard that I carry around with me all the time from studio to studio. Now there is only one slider on it, so if I ever wanna do automation, I use this one slider and it works for every single parameter. So I'm gonna show you how to take your one knob or slider in a controller, if you only have one, and use it to control any selected automation. It's probably gonna change the light, your life in the way you produce in Logic Pro. So here's my pluck synth right here that we're gonna do some automation to. To set this MIDI slider up to control automation, you have to do one little setup for one time only and you're good to go. Go up here to Logic Pro 10, go to Preferences, Automation. This window will pop up here. And under Automation Quick Access, you're gonna to wanna to hit On. Click Learn Message. And go ahead and move that one slider or knob on your controller. So Logic won't actually tell you that it sees it, but if you move it a couple times, it will know it and save it. So hit Done. Now we're gonna close this and we can go ahead and play on my synth. What's cool about this as well, you can actually control the track's volume from that one slider as well. All right, so let's go ahead and add some automation with this one slider. I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard to bring up my automation window, and I'm going to automate, yes, the volume, and let's just change this to touch, and here we go. All right, so now we just automated the volume. Let's go ahead and add in another plugin. And in this case, I'm gonna bring in a single band EQ. And I'm gonna to wanna to control this frequency right here. So I'm gonna start high, sorry, I'm gonna start low and then I'm gonna bring in the highs. Let's go and do that. So again, if this is not open, hit A on your track to bring up the automation window. Under the automation selection right here, we're gonna to go to single band EQ and we're gonna select the frequency and we're gonna adjust our frequency selection right there. Let's go up here, and we're gonna slowly bring in our synth. So as you can see, I used one knob or one slider, I should say, on my controller to do both those automations without any mapping or anything like that in Logic Pro. Once you set it up, as I said, under the preferences, it's gonna be set up for future setups and sessions. So you're gonna to love to use this feature and you're probably gonna to wanna to do more automation more than usual. If you have any questions on this, ask me in the comments section below. For more great videos, remember to subscribe as they're always coming. And I'll see you boys and girls in the next video. Talk to you guys soon, later.